What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dad Does Videos. As you can see here, we have a Blackstone 28 inch hard top griddle we're going to unbox and put together for you today. As you can see, it's a little bit in some rough shape after it was delivered to our house, so hopefully that doesn't affect anything. All right, so we've got the box open. As you can see here, everything is pretty insulated with this styrofoam. So as of right now, things look pretty good. We've got a pack of directions right here. So let's get all this stuff out and we'll show you what everything looks like and go from there. Okay, so we have everything out of the packaging. And as you can see here, there aren't a ton of parts. So let's get into the, uh, the setup. All right, step one, and as you can see, we've already gotten started a little bit, but we're gonna get that griddle body from the packaging, lay it upside down on a flat surface. As I just mentioned, we've already done that. We are going to, however, unfold the legs as our next step. You can see part of those legs are already coming out right there. Simple enough, right? Just like that. And then on the other side, these legs are going to come down too. Just reach underneath, pull this down. Just like that. All right, so the second part of this first step is to then attach our wheels. So your wheels should be in this other box that you have that has lots of pieces and parts in it. So just go ahead and find your, your wheels. There should be two. Just take them out. And then to attach them, as you'll see in the directions here, we need small thumb screws. And those thumb screws are within this packaging. So they are right here. So we're just gonna take those two out. We'll just do one at a time here and putting these, these wheels on. We'll do the bottom one first. So as you can see here, the hole is on the, basically the inside of the grill. So I'm going to insert my wheel with the, the hole closest to me inside like that. And then get my thumb screw and simply twist it into the hole. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll have the, uh, the wheel up here as well. Okay, you might need to kind of wiggle this around and make sure the legs are spread out as far as they can to get that shelf nudged in the right spot. And once you do that, we are going to use our large thumb screw. There should be two right here in the same pack of, of tools that you got the small thumb screws from, but we're gonna take out the large one. And you can tell which one's large because guess what? It's bigger than the other one. So we're just gonna take that out and then screw that right into that hole right there. That secures one side of the shelf. And then on the other side, we're gonna grab our propane tank support and that's another piece from this box that had the wheels in it. Just gonna slip this out. Here's your propane tank support. And then we are going to grab our medium thumb screw out of the same spot that we grabbed the, the large one to attach the tank support to that shelf. So we just grab our tank support. We've got our thumb screw. This little ledge right here is going to face up. So we're gonna put that on top, basically. Just like that. Get our thumb screw. And we'll just attach just like that. You might have to wiggle the shelf up a little bit so the holes align. Step three, we already have the grill in an upright position as you can see here. What we are going to do next is attach the upper propane tank hanger. There's a little image of it right there with a shear pin and cotter pin, which are really, really hard to see on this. So let's get our tools ready from that same box of goodies that we've pretty much gotten everything else out. We have this, right? That is the upper propane tank hanger. 
And then from the other source of all of our other tools, we're gonna get this cotter pin out and the shear pin out. Okay, so we're gonna get our piece right here, put it right between these two holes right here so it so this hole lines up with it. We are then going to put our shear pin through these holes. All right, and then to lock this in place, we are going to take our cotter pin right here and insert the straight part right into this little hole right here on the end of that shear pin. So just insert it all the way. There you go, just like that. All right, onward we go into step four. We're going to install the control knobs. We're just gonna push those in place, as you can see here, right on the relevant spots on the grill. So right there and right there. And you should probably know by now, but here are our knobs. So just grab one, make sure the orange part is up and just push on. That's it. We'll do the other one too. I'm not sure why this is not its own step, but we do have to insert one battery into the terminal facing out on the ignition button. So we just turn this counterclockwise. You're gonna see a little spring in there. If the positive end is gonna go out, so we're just gonna insert this like that and then tighten this back up, just like that, and that's it. So we're moving on to step five. As you can see here in the diagram, we are going to attach our side shelves to the rest of the griddle. We're going to use eight of our M612 screws to do that, and if you're wondering, well, heck, I only have four of these, you'd be right, because four of them come in the little package that we've been using, but the other four are already attached to your griddle. On this side, there's one right here, and then there's one right there, and then of course there are two on the other side. So what you're gonna do is grab your, your side shelf, make sure that the writing on the piece that you have is facing towards the front of your griddle, and then simply hang the side shelf through these two holes on the screws that are already existing, and then we're gonna put the other two in these other two holes once this is already on your griddle. So just pop on and pop on, just like that. And then put those other screws on. Moving along to step six, we are going to get that pretty heavy griddle top and then insert it into some holes on the side and then slide back. As you can see here, they suggest the use of another person. That's not a bad idea because it is heavy. As you can see here, here are the slots that we're gonna put that griddle top into. And when I have it on screen, you'll be able to see the bottom of it. There are little nubs that come out of it that slide right into these. So here we go. And as you can see on the back here, you want to have that taller edge on the back. There's a little hole for the grease spot as well. We are just going to slide this or put these put this into the, our holes here. Since I'm doing this by myself, I can't see anything. All right, once you have those in, making sure all four spots are set, we're just gonna slide this back to lock it in place. All right, and after we have that top of our griddle in place, we're going to attach the grease bucket right on the back of our grill. So you should find your, your grease bucket in the box that it came in. I put one of the, uh, the liners in as well. You'll probably need a few of these. We're just gonna hang this right on the back. Just look for the, uh, the opening right here. And just slide that right in. 
You'll know it's in, right? Because you can see here, I can't move it left to right. It's wedged right in there. On to step seven, and as you can see here, we are just going to attach our handles to our griddle cover. There's our griddle cover right there, and should be the last pieces in the box. Two of these. With those, in each of the little baggies, you should have those couple screws that you're going to use to install your handle. So those go on top, right? Right there. Just like that, and the screws go up underneath uh, each of those handles. All right, once you've got those, those handles on their top, it's simple enough to just put that right on your griddle top and do that when you're not using it. Alternatively, when you are cooking, you could use the hooks on the back of your top and simply hang it off the back of your griddle. Convenient little feature. All right, so the one downside of the Blackstone is that it does not come with a propane tank. So either you have one from your previous grill or you have to go out and buy a new one. Here's how to, to hook up your tank. And this is the last step. So grab this, you can see our, our little hook right here that we installed right on the back. There's a little hole, just put that right on top. We've got our, on the back of the tank, we've got our other piece that holds the tank in place. You simply grab the hose and just twist the hose on. That's it, thanks for watching everybody.